Hello there, uh, After Effects folks. This is Ben Rollison with a very quick tutorial about how to do a subtract and a divide um, in After Effects CS4 and below. Um, reason being, I was just looking through the new features of CS5 and, um, and I noticed they've now got a subtract and a divide blending mode, which is great. Uh, it's going to save lots of workaround time. But it also occurred to me that um, you know, now that people are creating CS5 projects with subtract and divide blending modes, there may be a call to um, sort of retrofit these things in some way to earlier versions. So maybe there'll be more uh, demand for a tutorial like this than there was before, or maybe it will just be something for posterity. Who knows? But anyway, it's only five minutes worth, and um, yeah, let's get on and do it. Uh, subtract first, because it's by far the easiest you're going to need two adjustment layers. I'm going to call the adjustment layer invert and the reason I'm going to call it invert is because I'm about to add a channel invert effect to it, inverting everything underneath it. And then I'm going to duplicate it and that takes my background layer back to exactly what it was, invert and invert. I've also got a foreground layer, which is a sort of a yellowish, blurry circle, and that's what I want to subtract. If I pop that onto an add mode, standard After Effects add blending mode, and I pop it between those two adjustment layers, it turns into a subtract, just like that. And as you can see, as you turn the opacity up and down, it subtracts more or less. And we're going to a very dark blue, as you'd expect by subtracting a very pale yellow circle. Let's just pop a, uh, oops, pop a, a tint on there and change it to uh, quite a sort of royal blue. And we go yellow, as you'd expect when subtracting. Or if we go magenta, we go to the complementary of magenta, which is green. That's it. Subtract, very easy. Just put the layer you want to subtract on add and sandwich it between two invert adjustment layers easy as pie. Now, if only the same thing could be said for uh, dividing, that's not quite so easy. But here goes. We're going to be using the effect channel, channel combiner effect. And we're going to set the from property to straight to pre-multiplied. What this is intended for is to be able to go back and forth between um, pre-multiplied and non-pre-multiplied versions of a piece of footage. And to do that, you either multiply or divide by that footage's um, alpha channel. If you want to go from straight to pre-multiplied, you just leave it like that. You multiply by the alpha channel. If you want to go from pre-multiplied to straight, you click this little invert checkbox, and that basically unmultiplies it or divides it, as it's also known. Um, and thereby, you get a divide. You divide background by its own alpha channel. Well, that doesn't help us too much, but if you think about it, we can put anything into the alpha channel that we like, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a channel set mat effect, and we're going to take the circle layer, layer one circle, we're going to take its red channel, and we're going to put that into the alpha channel of background. So now, when we divide the RGB values of background by its alpha mat, it doesn't have its alpha mat in there anymore. It has the red channel of the circle layer. So what we're getting is the red channel of background, email, the red channel of background divided by the red channel of circle. Easy enough. I'm going to put solid alpha on, so the alpha that we've been using as a sort of intermediary just gets back to being turned onto full. And finally, because only the red channel is accurate in there at the moment, I'm going to use a set channels uh, with green and blue set to off. Hello, I said off, that's better. And that gives us just the red channel divided by the red channel of circle. And you can see in green, in blue, there's nothing. And in the red channel, what you'd expect. Well and good. So I'm just going to rename that to background R and I'm going to duplicate it and call the new one background G. 
A couple of things to change. Up here I need to change use for Matt now to green channel and in this set channels I need to turn everything off except for green. And now we have green channel of background divided by the green channel of circle. One more, you guessed it, it's going to be blue. Same thing, um, blue channel. And down here we turn everything off except for the blue channel. And there as you can see, I've got the blue version. And everything is set to uh, normal blending mode. Red, green, blue. What we've got to do, select them all, change the blending mode to add, and it adds them together, giving us the background divided by the circle. Now, I, don't, I haven't seen CS5 yet. I'm not a beta tester or anything. so. Um, it's a little bit difficult to say what the divide blending mode will actually do with these sort of uh, values around here, which are being divided by zero. Who knows what division by zero means? Infinity, so say most people. In which case, um, being turned on to full would, would appear to make sense. But if, for instance, we go into shake over here and look at one that I uh, made earlier, you can see here I've got the background and I've got the foreground, I'm dividing one by the other. But here it's doing something different. As soon as we get out to this area where the, um, we're dividing by zero values, it doesn't do anything. Um, it just leaves it at the, at the same value as the background. But if I um, import something that I just rendered out of After Effects earlier using the same technique, and I use a difference uh, here, or I sub A as it's known in um, Shake, you can see that wherever it counts in this sort of section where we're not dividing by zero, the term it's fully black, which means that they are identical. So we have to wait with bated breath to see how uh, After Effects CS5 actually handles that. The other thing is if you're using a, um, a mat there as well and you want, to, uh, uh, you want to use the mat, I think the best way is probably to separate the mat off and then reapply it afterwards with this divide. Um, maybe I'll update this tutorial when we find out. But I hope that was interesting. I hope it also may be useful at some point in the future. Um, my name's Ben. Uh, thanks for listening.